What up everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, I just want to thank y'all. We're halfway through 100 subs and I really appreciate that. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure to do that. Today, we're kind of switching things up. I've mostly covered uh, festivals that are multi-genre or EDM based, but today I'm going back to my roots and I'm going to be talking all about Rolling Loud. Since I was like 13, all I listened to was rap, hip hop, and Rolling Loud was literally my dream festival. Like, I would get so mad every year because I wouldn't be able to go I'd be like 14, 15 wanting to go to Rolling Loud. And then after a couple of years, I just started listening to different types of music and kind of started getting into other festivals and stuff like that. So that kind of faded away a little bit. However, it is still part of my bucket lists to hit up at least one Rolling Loud once in my life. But yeah, we're going to be talking about Rolling Loud Miami and Rolling Loud SoCal. So yeah, let's, so let's get right into it. So let's get right into it. If you're not familiar with Rolling Loud, it is basically one of the biggest, if not the biggest hip hop music festival in the world, in North America, and it actually, ha it actually takes place in many different places. The main, main festival is in Miami, but they've also done in Bay Area, LA, New York. So you can really catch it at different parts of the country. And I think they also do it like internationally. So you can catch a Rolling Loud in different times of the year, which is dope. And the lineups are usually stacked, like you can really find most main popular rappers in their lineups. So I kind of wanted to talk about Miami and the recently announced SoCal edition in one video. Um, the Miami one is, like I said, the main one and it has gone through a lot of changes, you know what I mean? It's gone through like hella postponements and cancellations, but Rolling Loud Miami 2021 is as of now scheduled for July 23rd through the 25th. It takes place in the Hard Rock Stadium and it is a three-day festival. Pretty much everything you can find here is rap and hip-hop and you can get either small upcoming artists and you can get the really really huge artists that have been in the game for years. So it's always dope seeing their lineups. I don't, I don't think they've ever had a, ba a bad lineup. I haven't really kept up recently. But from what I remember, I used to love all their lineups. Unfortunately, Rolling Loud Miami is sold out. Um, you can sign up for wait lists and see if maybe a ticket comes up. So if you want to do that, you can put your email address in the Rolling Loud website. You can do things like book your hotel. If you want to reserve VIP, you can do that. And then you can check things like policies, FAQs, and all the information in their website. But I kind of wanted to go through the Miami lineup and give you guys some recommendations. Um, based on the three days. The lineup is really dope. I really like it and I'm just gonna go day by day and telling you guys who I would recommend if you guys are going. So for Friday, starting from the bottom, I would recommend seeing, I don't know how you spell his name, but Spottom Gotem or Gaim. He's really dope. I mean, Beatbox is the song right now that's been blowing up. You can catch Flo Millie, which is a female rapper, and Ali Choppa, Lil Skies, Lil Tekka. And then pretty much everyone else that's in the top row, in the top line. And you got ASAP Rocky headlining off Friday, which is super dope. I still, I, I've seen him one time, and it was pretty much one of the best sets I've ever seen. Then for Saturday, definitely make sure to check out people like Lil Keed, Sheck West, Chief Keef, Coil Ray, Blueface, Key Glock, Cash Page, and then also everyone else in the top line. Definitely check out Don Tolliver though. He's released some dope, dope things over quarantine. And he's one of my personal favorite artists. And then you got Travis headlining that day. It's always going to be dope. Finally, for Sunday, you got IDK, Young Nudie, Tyler Yahweh, Yahweh. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he's cool. Rico, Freddy Wap, T-Pain. And then as well, the whole top row. Like you, re there are so many rappers, popular rap rappers as well that are going here. Finally, Post Malone headlining Sunday. And at the bottom, I just saw with special guest Bobby Shmurda. Yo, D don't miss that. Whatever it ha whatever they, whatever he ends up doing, I don't know if he's gonna play a set, but definitely, definitely check him out and let me know how it goes. So that's Rolling Loud Miami 2021 for you. However, Rolling Loud just announced a, a California, a SoCal edition for December. It's taking place at the NOS Event Center and it's from December 10th through the 12th. So that's like later in the year if you weren't able to get tickets or if you were. If you're not going to be able to go to Miami, you can still have a Rolling Loud this year in California. Lineup just came out and tickets are going to go on sale Tuesday, June 1st at 12 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to put a screenshot here. You can see some of the different layaway deposits for different types of tickets, as well as the different types of tickets that there are, which is basically GA, GA Plus, and VIP. So if you're interested in going, make sure to buy them. 
I recommend buying them as soon as they come out because what I've been looking at recently is that tickets are selling out this quickly for a festival. So if you want to go, make sure you're like there when the t when they come out and just cop the tickets then. And yeah, we're going to check out the California 2021 lineup. Um, it's looking pretty solid already from headliners. It's looking very different as well from the Miami one. So they're, it's not like a repeated lineup and they're kind of switching things up for this one. So for Friday, right? Uh, you got Ken Carson, Spot Him Got Him Again, Cash Doll, Puya, Earth Gang, Chief, Shaq, Ski, The Kid Leroy, Lil TJ, pretty much everyone else at the <laughs> at the top row as well. And you got Kid Cudi headlining on Friday, which is so dope. I want to see him so bad. For Saturday, I'd recommend City Morgue if you're into it, Guap Dad for a thousand, Lil Nar, Cash, Lil Keed, Boss, Rico Nasty, Key Glock, Soldier Boy, Amine, and then all the top ones as well. Check out Kodak. I really want to see what a Kodak set would look like right now. Uh, I've been a fan of Kodak for a long time, so. Also check out Sway Lee specifically, and then obviously J. Cole headlining. I wonder what his performance would be will be like after he released his new album. So I think it'd be dope hearing those songs live. Finally, for Sunday, we have Young Nudie, Flo, Tyla, G Herbo, Hoy, Emily Choppa, Skies, Yachty, Rod Wave, Nav, Dirk, Don Tolliver again, A Boogie, and Cardi. And the highliner is Future. I think it's cool that they're kind of switching it up a little bit. Obviously, there's similar, same artists from the Miami lineup, but it's not like entirely the same because especially when when festivals have different events throughout, throughout the year, if they have the same lineup, it's kind of, it kind of has no point. So I think it's cool that they, at least they switch up the headliners completely. I feel like that Kid Cudi and Cole set would be dope. And yeah, just like a little different vibe. It's in December, so I don't really know what the weather in California is like in December. I don't think it's like really bad or anything, but that is California 2021 for you. If you guys have any other questions about both of these festivals, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 50 subs, which is dope. Stay tuned for next video. Peace.